is no condemnation against you. Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. So in Christ Jesus, the Bible says that there is no condemnation. There is no charge that is held against you. There is no uh, accusation that can stand against you uh, before God. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. God has made us the righteousness of God. It means that we are justified. We have a justification. We are in right standing with Him. Now, we must, as we embrace this truth of righteousness, we need to live free from condemnation. Now, condemnation can come from several sources. One, of course, is the enemy himself. Revelation 12 and verse 10 calls the devil the accuser of the brethren. So he's there to accuse us. He tries to accuse us before God. He tries to accuse us to ourselves. So condemning thoughts, uh, uh, accusing thoughts, uh, negative thinking thoughts uh, about who you are and your failures and your inadequacy and all of that come into your mind. And many times these come from the enemy himself. Uh, sometimes condemnation and guilt and shame could be things that we inflict on ourselves, uh, that you know, we uh, have remorse and regret uh, about things we have done. And we try to put that on ourselves. We often put that on ourselves and we are unable to accept the fact that we are the righteousness of God. And so either the enemy condemns us or we tend to condemn ourselves. And neither of these things are healthy. Neither of these things are what God desires for us. God wants us to live free from condemnation. And that's why the Bible says here, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. So you and I must reject every thought of guilt, shame, and condemnation that comes in our mind. Whether it's your own tendency to condemn yourself, whether it's condemnation that comes to you from the enemy or sometimes even other people, reject these thoughts and uh, embrace the truth that you are the righteousness of God, that you are in a right standing with God, that you are accepted, that you're approved, uh, that you're loved, that you are welcomed in the very presence of God. You are the righteousness of God. You can live free from all condemnation. And the Bible tells us that when our heart doesn't condemn us, we have confidence before God. You can have confidence in who you are in God and what God can do through you. So live free from condemnation. Know that you are the righteousness of God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that there is now no condemnation against us. And we pray that you'll help us live free from guilt, shame, and condemnation. Because you have made us righteousness, your own righteousness in Christ. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.